Mike Panaki here. I've got a challenge. I need to go in and capture the wireless traffic going to and from my phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can use the Etherscope NXG to do that. So let's jump over here to the home screen. So in this case, I need to find my phone. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Discovery. This is going to show me those 88 devices that Discovery's found on my network. These are wired devices, wireless devices. There are even devices that are out there on the internet somewhere. And I need to drill in and find that phone. Now, I went in and I gave everything a name on my network. Now, the Etherscope NXG is going to use MDNS, DNS, SNMP, NetBIOS, all as ways to go in and map a name to a device. Sometimes it doesn't find that. We can put a name in. So in this case, I'm going to come up and click on my little search icon. I'm just going to type in Mike. And I see a number of mic things, but the mic thing I'm interested in here is my OnePlus 6. So this shows me that OnePlus 6, and it gives me some information about it. It says, here's my phone, tells me I'm connected to the Netgear 77 5G network. Uh, it tells me that that's the AP in my office. And I'm going to just come in and click on the tool right here. And I want to do a capture. Oh, but it said wired capture. I want to do a wireless capture. So let's do this. Let's back out. We're going to click on the MAC address of my phone. Now, what we've done is we've jumped from the Discovery app over to the Wi-Fi app. So this is going to give us a lot more information about what's happening on the Wi-Fi side of things. We could take a look at our Wi-Fi statistics. We could see what our signal strength is, our SNR. But now, what I want to do is I want to do my packet capture. So I'm going to click on Capture, and there's my Wi-Fi capture. So when I select that, uh, it says, hey, do you want to discard the last capture? Yeah, I don't care about that one. But now what it's done is it's set up a filter. And that filter is on channel 36, channel width of 80, BSS ID, Mac is my phone. So now I'm going to hit start. So it's now capturing all of the Wi-Fi traffic to and from my phone. It's going to show how much data, how much management. So I'm going to turn my phone on. Boom, we start seeing some traffic coming across there. So I'm going to go into my apps. I'm going into an app where it's going to send some traffic across. And now we start seeing that data jump way up, right? So we're moving data. Down there at the bottom, it shows that we've got a one gig capture buffer. So it shows how much of that one gig capture buffer we've used. So we've sent some traffic across there. I can go ahead and turn my phone off. And I'm going to hit stop. We're going to stop that capture. Now it's created a PCAP file. And what I'm going to do is give it a comment. I'm going to say Y Fi Capture. So I'm typing it in on a US or a Bluetooth keyboard I have connected here. And I'm going to hit save. So what it's doing is it's uploading that trace file to Link Live. Now we could save it locally. We could save it to the micro SD card on there. But what I did was I saved it up to Link Live. So now I'm going to drag this over here and I'm going to grab Link Live. And if I come up here to the top in Link Live, what we see is there's my capture. In fact, if we zoom in, it tells me right there when I captured that and how big that capture file is. And if I flip over here, it says it's processing it. So now it's going through. It's a pretty good sized trace file and it's going to process that. All right, so it's done processing. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. What that's going to do is it's going to download it to my computer. So now imagine this. The Etherscope NXG is out at a remote site where somebody's having a problem. You've sent it out there. They did the packet capture because it was easy to find the device and click on start capturing. They uploaded it to Link Live. Now you're back at the main office. You've downloaded the trace and you want to take a look at it. All you have to do is download it, click on that, and now there it is in Wireshark. So we can come in and we can start taking a look at that. So I could go in and I could say, hey, open my wireless profile right here. 
It starts showing me what my data rates are of the traffic that's being sent. It shows me the length. It shows me what's going out across the wire. So now I could start getting an idea of what is going on, who's talking, what traffic do we see going across the wire out there. So we have set our filter. We can see our phone communicating out there. I could even come in here. I could click on my phone. I could uh, grab my information as far as all my hardware addresses, and I could set a filter. I could say I want a filter, and I, I could say prepare filter selected, and we could say uh, you know our different addresses, and I could apply that filter, and that would show me everywhere where my phone was transmitting frames. So now you've got it in Wireshark. It does not get any easier. You can have somebody at a remote site do the capture, upload it to Link Live, open it in Wireshark, start analyzing packets. So that got my challenge solved, right? I got the packets to and from my phone. I can now see them in my analyzer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got more coming out. We'll see you in another one.